Okay, um, what we're looking, or what you're looking at here, is a CCD based night vision unit. Um, I can't remember, I think the brand on this one was Night Owl or something like that. But there's also a Bressa brand, they're, they're coming various brands. The main thing about them is that they're a, supposedly a Gen 1 night vision uh, unit, but of course they don't have a night vision tube inside them. What they have is a black and white CCD chip, which is, you know, amplified a lot. Consequently, they have tons and tons of noise there. They're quite, I mean, in comparison to a proper night vision unit, they're, they're terrible. But um, they're better than nothing, having said that. This particular unit was actually a little bit longer. It was probably down to about here. It had a built-in built -in, uh, lens. Now, I don't know what focal range the lens was, but what I do know was that it gave you a, quite a narrow view of the sky. So it's very difficult to actually find things with it. I like to search in as wide a mode as I possibly can and this particular unit as standard was useless it just narrow field of view very hard to point very hard to find things with it um, so what I did I cut the uh, took the lens off it the lens actually came off quite easily cut the front of the unit you can probably see there that it's actually where I've actually cut it and I managed to find this rather interesting um, camera lens, video camera lens. This particular one's a um, Tamron lens. It's a F10 to 100 millimeters. It says a TV zoom lens and it's an F1.6. So it's actually quite good. It lets a fair bit of light in. Um, and it's got a great wide view and it's got a quite a good zoom range as well you can see you've got your focus uh, ring there just focus from there you've got your zoom ring here which is just like a uh, what that does is it uh, basically zooms and then you've got your uh, your uh, iris which on a normal photo camera would be your uh, your aperture ring on a video lens it's called an iris and that's adjustable that adjusts how much light gets into the camera um, the thing about this particular video camera is that it has a RCA socket on the under there and it outputs video it's not very high resolution of course it's only standard TV type resolution probably even worse than standard TV I'm guessing it's probably about 400 or 500 uh, lines maybe less than that uh, but it does output composite video so you can connect that to a recorder of some sort or a display screen or whatever and you can actually see it on a screen and you can record what you're looking at and you can also it's also got its own little built-in uh, electronic viewfinder in the back which with adjustable uh, diopter there for your eyes I'm quite happy with this because what I've actually done is I've got something that I found to be absolutely useless and terrible in use and I converted it in such a way that it's actually quite pleasant to use. It's got a great zoom range when you're out there. Uh, unfortunately at the moment I don't have anything that I can connect to this unit and actually record it in operation otherwise you would see that it's got an absolutely excellent zoom range and at the wide end it's, it's much wider than what it was as standard and it's also at the zoom end, the tele end, telephoto end, it brings everything a hell of a lot closer than what the original lens did. So it's quite a quite a nice little unit, and quite a nice little achievement. I've actually got a uh, little ring here which I can turn. If I take turn that right off, I can actually pull the lens off. So I did you know, quite a good job of modifying this, and it actually works quite well. You probably won't be able to see anything with this camera, but. Um, but it is, it does actually work. Um, I do have some sort of, some form of recording equipment somewhere that can record composite video, but I'll have to dig it out. And once I get something uh, that I can use, I will actually 
connect it up and point it up to the sky at night to the stars and zoom in and out and you'll see how, how nicely it does work. So I don't know how good your chances of finding one of these lenses are, they're actually quite hard to find. I'm not really sure what this particular lens came off but um, it's quite possible that it came off a 16mm film camera um, but I can't be sure. Um, okay so that's that lens there. Um, just as a matter of interest the sensitivity of this is nothing compared to the old night vision tube. This is Gen, Gen 1 3 stage tube. It's, there's no comparison at all but having said that it does actually work and it, you know most people who played with night vision stuff um, start off with a uh, an eye gen or a you know a brezzer or whatever one they basically start off with one of these units anyway um, I was never as I say I was never happy with the fact that it was so the field of view was just so narrow uh, this is it made a huge improvement to it as I say, um, probably hard to find one of these lenses though. So if you do find one, definitely grab it because uh, it's quite interesting. If you try to, just in case you're wondering, this lens here is not usable with this particular, with this other night vision tube. Um, this particular night vision tube is designed to be used with, uh, basically with a lens that was very similar to a 35mm format lens. Was This was designed to be used with a 16 millimeter format camera and of course um, when you put try to put this particular lens on that tube uh, it doesn't focus properly number one thing and then uh, the second thing it's only looking at it's only illuminating part of the image intensifier tubes input window it's not illuminate the whole window just central part it works great on this because these have a very small CCD sensor inside which is about 15 millimeters uh, maybe a bit less in size so it actually works quite well with that okay just pull another lens out into the picture now this um, particular lens is uh, the writing I can't read what it is it doesn't actually say um, there you go what have we got we got it's a 10.5 to 126 millimeter focal length and I can't see oh, the F numbers here it's f1.6 as well 12x zoom and again it's a TV zoom lens so it came off a video camera uh, the beauty of this lens is it's actually got a um, I think that's a, it's either M, I can't remember if it's an M43 or a C mount lens, probably a C mount, I'm guessing. Um, and that just screwed on and off the camera, and inside there, there is a, a motor for focus adjustment, there's also a motor for zoom adjustment, and there's also another motor there that adjusts the iris. And all of those connections, all of those motors are connected to this plug here, so. I will get in there one day and vandalize it a little bit and um, actually convert it so that I can adjust the fo uh, zoom focus and the iris externally and I'm actually going to transplant this lens onto this unit instead of the one that's on there now which is full manual focus so I'll, th I'll then have full auto focus auto zoom and I'm hoping to be able to put this thing with that unit in a completely weatherproof box mounted on the roof with a um, ELAZ mount uh, motor arrangement so that I can control it from in here and point it anywhere I want and zoom in and out um, and hopefully you know spot stuff in winter when it's very cold to be out there I could be doing it from in here which would be a lot better so that's that lens there. I was also extremely lucky and I found a very very large lens which I haven't got in here it's just too big to bring in here at the moment but that lens is um, it's off a studio TV camera you know the very large cameras that sit on a uh, big trolley 
and that's got a uh, I think the I think it's 10 millimeters to 670 millimeter zoom range it's just absolutely huge it's a it's a huge lens it's probably about um, that long so it's, well what's that about almost say 700 to 750 millimeters long the front glass element on that tube is uh, about that diameter there it's huge the whole thing lens weighs about 20 kilos and it's uh, all driven the focus and zoom is all driven by motors and uh, I'm just sort of uh, working on it at the moment trying to sort out there's a million wires inside this thing I'm trying to sort out all the connections inside so that I've got access to the zoom focus and uh, the iris uh, motors I'm hoping to be able to use that lens with one of these uh, night vision tubes that would give and uh, by the way that's an f 2.2 lens that's not as good as this lens as far as the amount of light it gathers because it's got such a huge zoom range from wide to ultra tele telephoto it's going to be an absolutely amazing lens for uh, for use with uh, one of these uh, babies here